Hello everybody, and welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Alright people, I'm still rolling, believe it or not, I'm still going, getting a little closer. Uh, I got this all done this morning, and uh, it looks pretty good. But, uh, and I got, you know, what that little bit filled and that edge sanded off. It looks pretty good. I got a little more filling to do on this and this. They're both looking pretty good, really. So I got that front sanded down and looking more like an intake rather than just a square deal, you know. And, uh, my elevator. My horizontal stay stay up. Okay. Get that terminology right. Uh, it was too fat back here. Uh, I didn't like it. I think them big old fat leading edges make it look like a sloppy build job. You know, <laughs> it didn't sand enough. Something like that. So uh, I just uh, I had some quarter inch hardwood. And so I just stuck these on there. I'm going to take my plane and plane it down. See if that plane works on that door. So you hold it at the same angle as your elevator. You know, you can line it up right here. And man, that gets it to where you don't have to stand hardly any at all. That'll just take me some CA to soak this wood and then just fill it and prime it. And a happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. We thank you for your service and going to watch your war movies all day today. <laughs> Wouldn't be here without you. Wouldn't be here building airplanes ten minutes at a time without you. I don't like them to a point because it's too hard to mold but I like it about a sixteenth of an inch uh, we're going to call that a whole frog hair that ain't a frickle that ain't half a frog hair sixteenth is a whole frog hair and a frickle is half a frog hair <laughs> people that didn't know Frickle is a half a frog here. Yeah, when that plane gets that thing nice and straight, then you can eyeball it. You get any high spots out. A little high right there, but it needs to come down a little right there. Bam, that's a lot better. 
And once I sand that, that would be nice. We're going to use my old 36. We got so much filling to do and priming. So when we get this to where one more coat of primer will do it. People thinking, why do you want to use 36 grit on that and scratch all that up? Gets it flat, gets it straight. We're still in the flat, getting flat stage, remember? We ain't getting it shiny yet. But when we see any of them parts, we really got to make sure we got it sanded pretty good. Because if you start sanding on anything real hard that you just CA, you sand through your, you sand through it and then you just create more problems. So you just got to make sure you get it sanded good. Then when you CA it, fill it, put a big old heavy layer of bump primer on it. It's good to go. Okay, then I'm going to take it. All my little pieces here. I just want to go one more round of filler. Really, that ain't bad. This stuff is just one coat of primer so far, and it's looking pretty good. But I kind of got... I'm going to have a hard time seeing that. I'm kind of using my primer as a guide coat. The shiny stuff is low. I've already sanded that pretty hard, so I just need to hit that whole thing with some filler. Anything that's shiny, which is going to, you know, kind of jumping out at me. Fill it with your finger. Little spot right there. Anything that's shiny and off color you need to look at. I got this crack already. All that stuff's looking good, man. See my edge in there? Doing them separate, and that corner's nice. And that whole corner. Now when I prime this, and sand it, it's ready for panel lines. I don't like that two or three, four coats of primer. You're just wasting time, wasting primer, wasting money. You just take your time and really look it over. If you have a hard time seeing, it's kind of cloudy out and rainy today. You take this stuff outside, bam, man, all that stuff just jumps right out at you. Take your time to do this. Your paint jobs will turn out a lot better. A little bit there. Then I put my little piece of wood on there last night. Sanded that round. Little piece right there. It's all down here. I need to again. Got to check this back edge too. Yeah, see right there. Now I'm just gonna make a mark like that because I know I need to hit that edge. I have to do all this first because once that, you got that Bondo mixed up, 